Senator Otondo. Thank you, Mr. President. Ooh, it's loud today. <laughs> I rise for a point of personal privilege, a comment. Please proceed. Mr. President and members, <clears throat> I'm standing here looking at a picture of Scott Bailey, 35 years old. And today I'm here to tell you about Scott, a geography teacher who was killed along with 16 other students and teachers at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. I guess I take this seriously because I too was a teacher. And I cannot imagine going through what these teachers and these students went through. Scott was also the school's cross-country coach and worked summers as a counselor at the Starlight Summer Camp in Pennsylvania. His mother, Linda Schumann, said he wanted to be a teacher because of his positive experiences in the summer camp. And he first attended at age seven and returned every year. He loved going to camp and he loved working with kids, his mother said. Scott was shot and killed after unlocking his door to let students into his classroom to hide from gunmen. Student Kelsey Friend said that Scott saved her life. He unlocked the door and let us in, Kelsey said. I had thought he was behind me, but he wasn't. And when he opened the door, he had to relock it so we could all stay safe. But he didn't get the chance to. He was in the doorway and the door was still open and the shooter probably didn't know we were in there because he was lying on the floor. If the shooter had come in, I would probably be dead. The duty of an instructor is to educate. Their job is to send young adults out into the world armed with education and experience and knowledge to help them be the best they can possibly be. Their job is not to jump in front of bullets or to be shot in a doorway while trying to hide a group of students. Teachers are not security guards. Teachers should be rewarded for their work and their dedication. Instead, in this case, Mr. Scott Bagel was gunned down. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, members.